today's video I want to give you a little glimpse about how I do workshops. Before I do a workshop in a new place I go there mostly in person to make sure I can deliver a great workshop experience there. Just remember, it rained when I went there the first time. You can find the full video about my first visit up here and in the description. I need for myself some distance to charge my own batteries. For that I love to go for a walk the day before I leave for the workshop. A wet plate workshop needs a lot of preparation, from mixing and testing chemicals, creating certificates and workshop folders, working out a plan for the schedule and much more. This workshop's main subject was portraiture, in combination with the wet plate coloring process. During the walk I get off new ideas how I can accomplish what I want. Of course, I visit my friends here also again. A full video about these guys can be found up here and also down in the description. I know, nobody wanna hear it again. Even I'm boosted, I test myself before I leave, so there are no funny surprises when I arrive at the workshop location. I put all my gear I need in my studio, so I can work on my checklist easier. After that, I always play Camera Car Tetris. And then I put the address in my navigation system. As you can see, this time I was getting ready for a long drive. It started with a beautiful weather, but then the rain and the storm came back. It was getting even that worse that I did a short break in Bavaria and visited a gas station. If you wanna know how a gas station looks like in Bavaria, I got a picture for you. I'm not kidding. After a long drive I arrived at my beautiful apartment. In the fridge there was a cake waiting for me. I was lucky that there was a really good Vietnamese restaurant nearby so I could treat myself with some great food and take a nice walk in the rain home afterwards. Next day I brought all my stuff into the Silver Green Classic Studio and maybe you guessed it, it rained again. We carried everything upstairs that took longer than as expected because the elevator was serviced. The first plates did not turn out as expected, so I needed to do some troubleshooting. After that I finally was able to meet the participants and start my talk about portraiture and the wet plate coloring process. After some first practice exercises, we had a late end of the first workshop day and I went back into my apartment, where a nice candle was greeting me at my door. The second day started with the wet plate process and basic portraits.
And then we walked outside to work on natural light portraits and exposures. At the end of this day, we set up a group shot with a wide angle large format lens. I think these kind of lenses are pretty rare in the wet plate collusion process, but they are fun to use. Coming home again, I had three surprises waiting for me two cakes and a visitor. Her name is Toni Klein, after a German football player named Toni Groß. Germans will get the joke. Groß sounds uh, similar to Groß, that means big, and because she's little and she, her fur looks like a soccer ball, she's called Toni Klein, like little Toni. She was very curious, inspected my whole apartment. At some point she found the takeaway food from the Vietnamese restaurant. Sorry little guy, I need it for myself. The last day we started early and you guessed it, it rained again. So I walked myself in the rain to the studio again. In the morning we started with our own group shot where I put a sticky tape on the lens cap to do the exposure. The next task was to create a wet plate from only a part of the face. I think it turned out really great. And another thing I really was excited to do was a wet plate double exposure. We call it wet plate selfie. At the end we tried to freeze the action with three Hansel expert strobes. I used the Hansel app on my phone to see at what power, what uh, flash duration the strobes have. happy that freezing the action was possible, but we need to do better with the water next time. For that I have a tool at home that makes life easier. More about that in an upcoming video. If you subscribe you won't miss this video, it's gonna be fun. At the end of the day I packed everything and you guessed it, it was raining again. At the evening for the third time I got some really great sushi from the Vietnamese restaurant. The next day I drove home again. It started with a beautiful weather, but I ended up again with snow and little hail and rain. Nearly 1600 kilometers later the sun greeted me again at home and I started unpacking and maintaining everything again. So I'm ready for the next workshop. And that's it and you know what's coming up. I'll be back guys.